Well, new at 5:30, a local business owner is giving NFL fans a new view. He showed News 4's Dave Graber how cameras made right here in Western New York are changing the game. What you're seeing me through is the next generation of cameras for the NFL and possibly football nationwide. And it's all created by a local company that is likely going to be sharing the world's largest television stage in February. If you're a fan of football, how could you not be a fan of the new view? The NFL first deployed the experimental use of pylon cameras this year after what Lancaster's Paul Halsey says were several failed attempts. Pylon cameras have been an idea that people have tried for a while. Uh, generally, it's been a failure. Halsey would know. He's the creator of the pylon cams you see on Thursday night football broadcasts here on CBS. Yep, the newest craze for enhancing the game experience from your couch was born and manufactured in an Erie County suburb. We came up with a better idea um, that does not utilize RF. That's radio frequency or operated wirelessly. The biggest thing about this is it needs to be reliable. If you turn it on every week, it needs to work. It can't be a question mark. So far, so good. In fact, Halsey is working on a deal with the NFL to manufacture 16 cameras that'll be used on America's biggest stage, the Super Bowl. I don't get the stargaze look about it, but. But it's still, uh, it, it's pretty amazing to go from uh, basically an idea to uh, what we expect will be 16 cameras at the Super Bowl. It's also a close-knit operation. Halsey's manufacturer is a short drive away. Having a guy like that a block away is, is critical. What it's doing is just taking the regular pylons that you would see on, an, on, on a football field every week. And what we do is we just machine them out. And we get all ready uh, to put all the guts in. Those guts are proprietary, so we can't show that much. But what you see is what you get. Reporting in Buffalo, Dave Graber, News 4 at 530.